Sam, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. For today's video, I have my sweat proof foundation routine. Now, I know that there's a lot of videos and that they teach you how to make your foundation not move, but I can tell you that literally these products have helped my foundation look so amazing up to like 14 hours. Like I'm telling you, my foundation is sweat proof. It is like sweat proof. I went to Chihuahua a couple weeks ago for a wedding and my foundation, I, there was a day that I wore it for about 14 hours and I used every single one of these steps and I can tell you since I've, like from the moment I finished my foundation to the moment I got back to the hotel, my foundation looked flawless. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. And if you wanna know how to get a sweat proof foundation routine, then just keep on watching. The first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to moisturize my face. I do have oily skin, but I usually don't, um, like this doesn't make my skin get like oily throughout the day. I notice it's just good to like just moisturize your face. So that is prepped for the makeup. I use my favorite, it's the um, Per State Beauty um, Ultra Repair Cream. And like I said, I have oily skin and this is a little bit more on the thicker side of moisturizers, but um, I've used this one. I've also used um, the Clinique moisturizing. It's like the yellow one. Um, that one's actually really good as well. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my forehead. And I really like this moisturizer because it actually gets um, into like my skin like really really quickly. So the next thing I recommend is to have a really good primer. I noticed that this primer has really really made a difference on how my foundation looks throughout the day. Now I've read about this primer so so much that I mean if you watch my videos you probably already know and yes it is the Milk Hydro Group Primer and I cannot tell you how good this uh, primer is. It's so, so good. It makes your foundation literally last for so, so long. I went to a wedding recently a couple weeks ago and it was, I was, I had the foundation um, for about uh, a good like 14 hours and my foundation looked amazing still at the end of the day. So I'm telling you like this primer is so, so good. I do have the little uh, like mini size that you can pick up or you can ask for a sample of Sephora and just try it out for yourself and try it out for, with your foundation. That's what I did when I first picked up this primer. I asked for a sample at Sephora and then I tried it out with the foundation I was currently using and that's when I knew like wow like this primer really 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 made the difference. So no ranting. I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and yeah I'm gonna apply that. I love that it gets a little bit tacky so that's when you know like oh, okay you can like put your foundation on top of that as soon as I put that one like my primer is already getting a little bit tacky so that's when I go in with my foundation now you can use any foundation that you have my favorite by far that I've tried so many different ones is the NYX, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation it's an amazing foundation again I have normal to oily skin and this foundation I have really seen how like it really lasts throughout the day I don't see it either um, separating from my nose. Whenever you're doing your foundation for it to be like sweat proof, make sure that you're really working the foundation. Okay, so I finished my foundation and I just realized that I didn't do my eyebrows. So um, I don't know what happened there. I do my eyebrows, it's like my routine. I do my eyebrows. Uh, like before my foundation every single time and I guess I was too excited to like film um, So I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick, and I'll be right back Okay, so I'm back with eyebrows now so now. I'm gonna go ahead and do my Concealer almost dropped that uh, for today. I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal infallible full wear Corrector this is just a concealer and I have it in the shade mmm Oh, 355 Vanilla, and this compares to the Shart, Shart, <laughs> to the shape, what? To the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, there we go. Now I'm just gonna blend this, and I put it on my lid as well, because I use my um, concealer as my eye primer, eye base for my shadows. 
Okay, now to set my concealer, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And this is in the shade Fair. And I use this to set my concealer. So I'm just going to take a beauty blender. And then making sure that we do blend those creases that formed in between grabbing the powder. So that we're not setting those crease, uh, creases in place. And then I just pack this powder. What I like setting my foundation with to make it sweat proof, I use a powder foundation. So um, this is the Studio MAC Fix and I have it in the shade NC30. And this makes sure that my foundation is not going anywhere throughout the day. So what I do is I grab, this is a Morphe E34 brush and it's more dense as you can see and this helps me pack that brush. Now, the key to not looking cakey at the end of the day, or at the end when you finish your whole uh, face, would be to set it as well. We'll get to that. So, I'm going to just pack my brush, and I just like go like this, pack my brush, and then I start like kind of like pouncing that brush, and just going around my air the areas that I want that um, powder. Um, this foundation does give you extra coverage and like I said you can definitely use a more either a translucent powder and that doesn't give you extra coverage. You never want to rub so like going like this you always want to press on the brush so that means that the actual powder is locking that foundation in place. At this point because I want to lock everything in place I'm going to uh, grab my trusty setting spray which I use the Morphe continuous mist uh, setting spray and this makes sure that your foundation doesn't move I mean all these steps assure you that your foundation is not gonna move but this makes you look really fresh and like it makes your foundation not look cakey so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this spray After I powder my foundation and I make sure that it's set with the powder, I do set it with the spray because it helps it not to look cakey. So yes, by the end of the uh, foundation routine, you are going to set it again so that all those extra powders that you're putting in set in place. But I have really noticed that setting it in between, like right after I finish my powder foundation and powdering my face, um, and locking that foundation in place. I noticed that it really, really helps my foundation last throughout the day. Now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go finish my face. I'm going to put in my powder. I'm going to go and put in my blush, my highlight, and then um, I'll show you guys kind of like the final look. As you can see, I already finished my whole entire face. I put on some bronzer, my blush, my highlight, and then I set my brows because I will be filming a couple more videos today. So um, after I'm done with my whole face, I'm going to go in again with my Morphe setting mist. And this is going to now lock everything in place, making sure that nothing, nothing moves throughout the day. And yes, I do use a lot. This is like the best mist I've ever tried. I've tried so many like setting sprays um, and that like definitely takes the win. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. The products that I use are will be linking them down in the description box as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!